The Persian language has six vowel phonemes and 23 consonant phonemes. It features contrastive stress and syllable final consonant clusters. Vowels The chart to the right reflects the vowels of many educated Persian speakers from Tehran. The three vowels, a, e, and, o, are traditionally referred to as short vowels and the other three, i, and, u, as long vowels. In fact the three short vowels are short only when in an open syllable i.e. a syllable ending in a vowel that is non-final but can be unstressed or stressed, e.g. esda say d sound, kehada xod god. In a closed syllable i.e. a syllable ending in a consonant that is unstressed, they are around 60% as long as a long vowel, this is true for the long vowel, i, as well. Otherwise the short and long vowels are all pronounced long. Example, sftr say ft ash firmer, when the short vowels are in open syllables, they are also unstable and tend in informal styles to assimilate in quality to the following long vowel. Thus Dweist dv street 200 becomes dv street shluk o lu crowded becomes u lu arsidan raci d ash n to arrive becomes resi d ash n and so on word final o is rare except for two to u singular loanwords mostly of Arabic origin and proper and common nouns of foreign origin and word final a is very rare in Iranian Persian an exception being nh nay no the word final a in early New Persian mostly shifted to e in contemporary Iranian Persian often romanized as a, meaning e is also an allophone of a, in word final position in contemporary Iranian Persian, but is preserved in the Eastern dialects. Diphthongs The status of diphthongs in Persian is disputed. Some authors list a, o, i, oi, ui, others list only a, and o, but some do not recognize diphthongs in Persian at all. A major factor that complicates the matter is the change of two classical and pre-classical Persian diphthongs, i, greater than, a, and, o, greater than, o. This shift occurred in Iran but not in some modern varieties, particularly of Afghanistan. Morphological analysis also supports the view that the alleged Persian diphthongs are combinations of the vowels with j and with. The Persian orthography does not distinguish between the diphthongs and the consonants j and with, that is, they both are written with y and w respectively. O becomes o in the colloquial Tehran dialect but is preserved in other Western dialects and standard Iranian Persian. Spelling and example words For Western Persian The variety of Afghanistan has also preserved these two classic Persian vowels. In the modern Persian alphabet, the short vowels, e, o, a, are usually left unwritten, as is normally done in Arabic alphabet. See Arabic phonology section vowels. Historical shifts Early New Persian inherited from Middle Persian eight vowels, three short i, a, u and five long i, e, a, o, u in ipa, i, a, u, and, i, e, a, o, u. It is likely that this system passed into the common Persian era from a purely quantitative system into one where the short vowels differed from their long counterparts also in quality, i greater than, u greater than, a greater than. These quality contrasts have in modern Persian varieties become the main distinction between the two sets of vowels. The inherited eight vowel inventory is retained without major upheaval in Dari, which also preserves quantitative distinctions. In Western Persian, two of the vowel contrasts have been lost, those between the tense mid and close vowels. Thus e, i have merged as i, while o, u have merged as u. In addition, the lax close vowels have been lowered, i greater than e, u greater than o. The lax open vowel has become fronted, a greater than a, and in word final position further raised to e. Modern Iranian Persian does not feature distinctive vowel length, in both varieties a is more or less labialized, as well as raised in dari. Dari o is also somewhat fronted, Tajiki has also lost two of the vowel contrasts, but differently from Western Persian, here the tense, lax contrast among the close vowels has been eliminated. That is, i, i have merged as, and you, you have merged as, the other tense back vowels have shifted as well. 
mid-o has shifted front, or a vowel usually romanized as u. Open a has been labialized and raised to an open mid-vowel. Loanwords from Arabic generally undergo these changes as well. The following chart summarizes the later shifts into modern Tajik, Dari, and Western Persian. Consonants Notes In Iranian Persian, and q have merged into tilde as a voiced velar fricative when positioned intervocalically and unstressed, and as a voiced uvular stop otherwise. Topic: <laughs> Allophonic variation. Alveolar stops t and d are either apical alveolar or laminal dentialveolar. The voiceless obstruents p, t, t. K, are aspirated much like their English counterparts, they become aspirated when they begin a syllable, though aspiration is not contrastive. The Persian language does not have syllable initial consonant clusters see below, so unlike in English, p, t, k, are aspirated even following, s, as in hstm, hestom, i exist. They are also aspirated at the end of syllables, although not as strongly. The velar stops, k, are palatalized before front vowels or at the end of a syllable. In classical Persian, the uvular consonants gh and q denoted the original Arabic phonemes, the fricative and the plosive q, respectively. In modern Tehrani Persian, which is used in the Iranian mass media, both colloquial and standard, there is no difference in the pronunciation of gh and q, and they are both normally pronounced as a voiced stop. The classic pronunciations of gh and q are preserved in the eastern varieties, Dari and Tajiki, as well as in the southern varieties e.g. Zoroastrian Dari language and other central, central plateau or Kermanic languages. The alveolar flap has a trilled allophonic variant r at the beginning of a word it is sometimes a free variation between a trill r and a flap. The trill r as a separate phoneme occurs word medially especially in loanwords of Arabic origin as a result of gemination of an approximant also occurs as an allophone of before t, d, s, z, l is sometimes in free variation with in these and other positions, such that Farsi Persian is pronounced fc or fc and squarlet scarlet salt or salt r is sometimes realized as a long approximant. The velar nasal is an allophone of n before k, f, k, s, x may be voiced to, respectively, v. Z before voiced consonants, N may be bilabial M before bilabial consonants. Also, B may in some cases change into beta, or even V, for example, baz open may be pronounced BZ as well as beta Z or VZ and or V colloquially. Topic: <laughs> Dialectal variation. The pronunciation of w, w in classical Persian shifted to v in Iranian Persian and Tajik, but is retained in Dari. In modern Persian w may be lost if preceded by a consonant and followed by a vowel in one whole syllable, e.g. wab, zub, greater than xb, sleep, as Persian has no syllable initial consonant clusters see below. Topic. Spelling and example words In standard Iranian Persian, the consonants and are pronounced identically. Consonants can be geminated, often in words from Arabic. This is represented in the IPA either by doubling the consonant, sid sajid sej jed, or with the length marker, say j ed. Phonotactics <laughs> 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 Topic syllable structure Syllables may be structured as C, S, V, S, C, C. Persian syllable structure consists of an optional syllable onset, consisting of one consonant, an obligatory syllable nucleus, consisting of a vowel optionally preceded by and or followed by a semivowel, and an optional syllable coda, consisting of one or two consonants. 
The following restrictions apply – onset consonant C can be any consonant, onset is composed only of one consonant, consonant clusters are only found in loanwords, sometimes an epithetic – A – is inserted between consonants, nucleus semivowel – S – vowel – V – semivowel – S – coda first consonant C – can be any consonant. Second consonant – C – can also be any consonant – mostly – D – K – S – T – and – Z. Topic word accent The Persian word accent has been described as a stress accent by some, and as a pitch accent by others. In fact the accented syllables in Persian are generally pronounced with a raised pitch as well as stress, but in certain contexts words may become deaccented and lose their high pitch. From an intonational point of view, Persian words or accentual phrases usually have the intonation L plus H asterisk where L is low and H asterisk is a high tone stressed syllable, e.g. ktab, ktb, book, unless there is a suffix, in which case the intonation is L plus H asterisk plus L, e.g. ktabam, ktbam, my book. The last accent of a sentence is usually accompanied by a low boundary tone, which produces a falling pitch on the last accented syllable, e.g. ktab but, ktb bu d, it was a book. When two words are joined in an adoth eziath construction, they can either be pronounced accentually as two separate words, e.g. murdam anya per meter er dom e in d, the people of here, or else the first word loses its high tone and the two words are pronounced as a single accentual phrase, per meter er dom e in d. Words also become deaccented following a focused word, for example, in the sentence Nam he mamanam but ru mis, en mi em mn am bud ru mis, it was my mom's letter on the table all the syllables following the word maman per meter mn, mom are pronounced with a low pitch, knowing the rules for the correct placement of the accent is essential for proper pronunciation. Accent is heard on the last stem syllable of most words. Accent is heard on the first syllable of interjections, conjunctions and vocatives. E.g. blow, bell, yes, nakirna exer, no, indeed, willi veli, but, kra te, y, agur ash ash, if, merzi messi, thanks, kanam exnam, ma'am, aka sir, cf. 4 to 4 below. Never accented are, personal suffixes on verbs, am, I do, I, you do, and, they do, with two exceptions, cf. 4 to 1 and 5 below, the possessive and pronoun object suffixes, am, et, e, and c, a small set of very common noun enclitics, the, ezif, a doth e, je, of, a definite direct object marker, i, a, o, and, always accented are, the personal suffixes on the positive future auxiliary verb exception to 3 to 1 above, the negative verb prefix, ne, ne, if present, if, ne, ne, is not present, then the first non-negative verb prefix e.g. per mile, ing, be, do, or the prefix noun in compound verbs e.g. car, cur, in car microdom, cur me kerdem, the last syllable of all other words, including the infinitive ending, an, and the part Recipial ending, te, de, in verbal derivatives, noun suffixes like, i, ish, and, a, all plural suffixes, h, n, adjective comparative suffixes, te, te in, and ordinal number suffixes, om. Nouns not in the vocative are stressed on the final syllable, canum ex nom, lady, aka gentleman, cf. 2 above. In the informal language, the present perfect tense is pronounced like the simple past tense. Only the word accent distinguishes between these tenses, the accented personal suffix indicates the present perfect and the unstressed one the simple past tense exception to 3 to 1 above. Topic. Colloquial Iranian Persian When spoken formally, Iranian Persian is pronounced as written. But colloquial pronunciation as used by all classes makes a number of very common substitutions. Note that Iranians can interchange colloquial and formal sociolects in conversational speech. They include In the Tehran accent and also most of the accents in central and southern Iran, the sequence n in the colloquial language is nearly always pronounced un. The only common exceptions are high prestige words, such as Kran on, Quran, and Iron in, Iran, and foreign nouns both common and proper, like the Spanish surname Beltran Beltran Beltien, which are pronounced as written. A few words written as m are pronounced um, especially forms of the verb amdan, m ash dain, to come. In the Tehran accent, the unstressed direct object suffix marker ra is pronounced o after a vowel, and o after a consonant. The second and third person plural verb subject suffixes, written id, and and, respectively, are pronounced in and an. 
The stems of many frequently occurring verbs have a short colloquial form, especially ast, aist, he, she is, which is colloquially shortened to e, after a consonant or s, after a vowel. Also, the stems of verbs which end in h, v, or a vowel are shortened, e.g. myquam, mix hem, I want, mix em, and merm, miyavam, I go, miyam. <laughs> <laughs> Example <laughs>